guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through a bunch of masters with ball specifically that involve rolls because I know rolls are a big part of this code of points and masters with rolls are the most valuable. So they're definitely very crucial to this code of points. So I wanted to put together a few masters that you can do that involve rolls. So hopefully you can draw some inspiration from any of these if you're in the process of creating or modifying routines. For this tutorial, you do want to be somewhat warmed up because we will be doing walkovers, be doing some kicks and be sort of in a split position. So you want to be fairly warmed up and you also want to have a decent knowledge of rules already with balls. So if you would like to prepare for this tutorial by learning some ball handling or specifically with rules or any sort of warm up videos, I have a ton of tutorials on this channel that can help you. I will link them all up in the corner. Maybe it's this corner. I can never get it right. And it'll be also linked down below in the little link section of the description. So feel free to follow along with the, any of those before you get started today. But when you're ready, grab your ball and get yourself a little bit of space and let's get started. Okay, so the first master we're going to do for today is this quick one coming onto the floor in a bum roll. So let's start off with the roll itself. The ball is going to roll across one arm, I personally use my right arm, and then turn your body so that the ball rolls behind your head and out and along both arms. But when we do the actual roll, you're going to need to do a full rotation. So take some time before we start just to get a feel of the roll itself and get a hang of it before we get into the whole mastery. Just make sure you're rotating throughout the duration of the mastery and completing at least a full rotation. So now adding in the body movements, you're just going to be doing a bum roll as the ball is rolling along your arms. The direction in which you do the bum roll will dictate which hand the ball starts in. So I personally put my right leg down first in a bum roll and rotate to the left. And so I start with the ball in my right hand. So just remember the leg that goes down first in your bum roll should be the same hand that the ball starts in, if that makes sense. So for me, that's the right side, but I think actually it's more common to do it on the left. I'm just weird. When you're doing this roll, make sure you're leaning your body forward and that your head is down so that the ball has a smooth and flat surface to roll across. And try to keep your arms as close together as the ball is rolling out at the end, because if not, the ball could fall between your arms. You could even do this roll starting on your knees and then just do a regular bum roll like I'm doing here. Uh, but it's really up to you and what's in your routine. Okay, next up we're going to be working on this combination of masteries. We first have a transmission in back walkover and then rolling the ball out along your back. So you'll start with the ball under the leg that goes up first in your back walk over, which for me is my right leg. And what the transmission actually is, is pressing the ball between your legs and then picking it up behind the other knee. So you can practice this motion of passing the ball back and forth between your legs first, because this transmission is actually going to happen in a handstand. So then once you've completed the transmission, you're going to come into an almost penché position, so you can then release the ball and roll it out along your back. Okay, let's put it all together. So try to make the whole thing one fluid motion as much as possible. Try not to pause for too long between the transmission and the roll. Now if you notice, when I'm rolling the ball out in the second half of this movement, my leg isn't in a full split and it doesn't need to be at all. In fact, the ball would probably be rolling too fast to control if you dropped it from a full split position. I like to bring my leg about halfway between a 90 degree and full split, just high enough so that my leg creates a straight line with my body and gives the ball a flat surface to roll down. And I'll just show you a quick, uh, very, couple quick variations here of the same movement. The first is this one here, doing the transmission in a back roll and then rolling it out onto your back the same thing. Um, and this one may be a little easier to control. Or if you are feeling comfortable enough, you can do the regular transmission in a back walkover and roll it out in a poche balance. Now this one's definitely trickier, but it's a good mastery to incorporate into your poche balance if you're feeling stable enough. I know I had that in my routine for a couple years or so. And it's not easy, but worth a try. Hey guys, wanted to take a quick break from the tutorial to talk to you guys for a second. You may have noticed I have been using a new ball in this tutorial. Over the past few months, I've been fortunate enough to be able to try out one of the new Venturelli balls from their Starline collection. And look at this guys, it's so, it's so pretty. I love the blue color and like, if you see kind of in the light, it gets more like purple and shimmery. It's just, it's so pretty. 
Ventrell has been working really hard behind the scenes to perfect their model for the new ball. And so now that they've released the Starline a few months ago, I've been really excited to try it out. I really love the grip that you can get on this. It's like nice and sticky, doesn't slip out of your hands too much. And one thing that's really, really great is if you can see here, the stamp, it's like lasered onto the ball, so it will never come off. And one thing I will say about these balls is they're a little bit on the bouncier side, so Everyone has their preference in terms of how bouncy they like they like the ball, but um, it's nothing a little inflating or deflating can't fix. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're using these balls, but I've really been enjoying using it so far. And Venturelli just released very recently a new Starline glitter collection on their website. And I am obsessed with these colors, guys. If, I probably have the pictures on the screen right now. I've been a huge fan of like your, your cool colors, like your green, your blues, and your purples. And just the colors that they have in this new collection are so, so pretty. So I definitely recommend going to check those out while you can. I will link Ventrelli's website hopefully up in the corner if I can do that, but definitely it'll be in the description as well as the Canadian website for my fellow Canadians because we have a special distributor here in Canada. So definitely go check out their new Starline glitter collection if you're in need of a new ball or just cause, cause the colors look so nice. So yeah, so definitely go give them a try. I will be using this for now, from now on when I go back to Waterloo soon and, you know, back to creating in the studio. So anyways, that's it from me. Let's get back to the tutorial. The next mastery we're gonna be doing also is combined with a body difficulty. This time is with a fouetté balance. So as you can see here, the roll is happening during the first of the three parts of the balance. So let's start again first by practicing the roll. It's gonna go from one arm to the other, but behind your head. So make sure you're comfortable with this roll before trying to in add in the balance in any way, shape or form. And since the fouetté balance only requires one type of apparatus handling, the roll will be sufficient for the whole balance, but I would encourage you to keep the ball moving throughout the later parts of the balance. Now, I like to start initiating the roll a little before bringing my leg up for the first kick, just to make sure my leg doesn't interfere with the roll, but you do want to make sure the majority of that roll is happening during the first balance. And so once the ball has left my first arm, I like to just move my arm up a bit, move it out of the way, just so that I don't kick it. And then in terms of the second arm, yeah, just like that, I find that the ball tends to go back a bit. So just have your arm ready and maybe bring it slightly further back just so that the ball can roll smoothly along that second arm. Now for a couple quick variations, if you're looking to combine this with another balance, you can add on an Abruzzini or a similar balance afterwards. And by the way, that little toss in the Abruzzini is also a mastery. And then for a bit of a different manipulation with the ball, you can bounce it in your first balance and then do this roll from your back to front arm in that last passe position. This roll is definitely trickier, but I would still definitely recommend trying it out. Okay, next up we've got this quick roll from arm to arm on the floor. As always, you can practice this roll on its own first, which you can do um, this one standing up with your body forward at about a 90 degree angle. And then again, this is just to get a feel of the ball and how it moves during the roll. Now, depending on how the ball starts rolling out on that second arm, you may need to adjust the positioning of your arm. You'll see sometimes I leave my arm turned in if the ball's coming nicely, but when it's a little further forward, I'll tend to turn my arm back out to adjust. So you may notice me changing the positioning of my second arm as I demonstrate the roll a few more times, but it's something you kind of need to play around with and get a feel for yourself. So as you can see, the direction of the ball towards the end is, is pretty unpredictable. So you'll always want to have that second arm ready. And then depending on how the ball rolls out towards the end, you can make some nice connections bet uh, between other masteries. Yeah, for example, combining it with one of the masteries we did earlier in this, in this video. But this is a really quick mastery that can make a good connection if you're doing some movements on the floor. It's just a nice quick 0.4 you can get. Okay, last mastery that we'll be working on for today is this roll around your shoulder and out onto the same arm while coming onto the floor. So for this roll, the ball is going to start in your right hand, roll behind your head, and as you turn, it should roll out onto the same arm. As always, try it out a few times to get the hang of the roll before incorporating the rest of the body movement. So as the ball rolls out onto that second arm, you'll need to be coming into this movement, coming onto the floor. I feel like I show it so many times in my tutorials, but I never know how to explain how to do this, this movement specifically. But you don't have to follow this exact movement as long as it's some sort of, you know, 
motion to get you onto the floor. As the ball is rolling out onto that second arm, you should be good. If you're finding the roll behind this mastery to be a little challenging, you can adjust it to be a simple front roll from arm to arm like I'm doing here, and then the body movement just stays the same. It's a simpler alternative to the roll and what I actually had in my routine for a few years. But yeah, that is it. Great job. And that is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys found this helpful. Comment down below if you tried out this tutorial and let me know how you did because I'd love to know. And hopefully there was something in here that you could maybe utilize in your routine or something you can at least draw inspiration from. And don't forget to check out the new Venturelli Starline Glitter Collection. Again, it's linked probably up in the corner, it's also in the description. So definitely check out their new ball collection. It's so, so nice. And I, I would definitely recommend going to check it out. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below and turn on my post notifications if you haven't already. So you get uploaded whenever I, so you get uploaded, so you get notified whenever I have a new video. Okay, and it's, it's been a while. Um, yes, and I'll see you guys hopefully soon with a brand new video. Bye.